Hey guys, welcome back to my nail obsession. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to do some press on nails. So I'm just taking my cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back the cuticles gently. Um, I've already like shaped my free edge. My nails are super raggedy, but I'm just gently um, pressing back the free edge right here. Um... We're going to be doing press-ons today, some coffin press-ons, easy, everyday thing that you can do if you're going out for the night and you don't want to commit to nails, your job doesn't allow, or you just don't wear nails and you just want to do something different for like the weekend or for the night. These are perfect. So I'm taking my cuticle nippers and I'm just nipping away like the skin on the sides of my nails because I get a lot of skin on the sides of my nails and then some of the cuticle. Now, if you're not a professional, you don't have to do this part. But me personally, I like to do this part and I do over nip as you can see. Um, as you will see, I over nip one of my fingers, my ring finger, and I had to go in later and um, put some alcohol on it and clean it and all that good stuff. So if you are not comfortable with a pair of nippers, I would not suggest this part. But, you know, I did it at my own risk. I am a professional, so, you know, but I still managed to beat up my cuticles anyway. So, I mean, I'm no different, but... I'm just taking those nippers and I'm just nipping my cuticle um and then I am as you can see taking a paper towel with some alcohol and I'm just getting that little cut that I um cut myself earlier I'm getting the 100 180 grid file and i do use both sides and i just gently now the key word is gently buff the surface of the nail and what you want to do is when you're buffing the nail is buff gently and you want to rough up the nail so that the adhesive tabs that we're going to use later on in the video that they stick and really stick on there so that your nails will last all night is what I found so I'm just gently taking it and buffing away like the oils and like the extra skin that was on the nail and you don't want to skip this part you want to prep the nails properly by pushing the cuticle back and butt and roughing up the nails so that the tips will stick okay so don't skip this part and then you want to take like some alcohol or some acetone and you want to just take a paper towel or a lint free wipe and just wipe all the dust and the extra oil off the nail. I'm just cleaning up my desk here. And all these things you could get like at Sally's, Walmart, something like that. You don't have to be like a nail tech to get these things. And then also the 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 nail adhesive tabs that I'm using. I got off Amazon. So they're like little old sticky tabs that i'm just gonna put on my finger they come in different sizes um they come small and little and you just size it to your finger um which size best fits your finger which which one will best cover the most of your finger so i like to go a little bit smaller because i don't want the um adhesive tabs to poke out on the sides so that's just what i do and um there's a sticky side and you put the sticky side on the nail and then you peel off the tab on the top and it'll reveal the other sticky side so both of the sides are sticky and um yeah you just peel off the little tab um these came in a pack of like 100 150 little sheets and stuff so it's a whole bunch and it was real affordable and i got them off amazon all the products will be linked down below i'm just showing you how i peel off the tab because you gotta like peel off the, the adhesive tab so it don't peel off the whole nail when you're peeling off the top part if that makes any sense I'm sorry if I'm talking fast but I'm trying to keep up with the video but what I'm doing is just um, pressing down that access that's hanging over the free edge because I got some little nubs and I don't want that sticking out so I just press it down to my free edge little free edge that I have and now I'm going in with my tips um, 
I'm using coffin and I'm not cutting them down, but you they come in different shapes and sizes. And I'm using the EC basket full cover coffin nail tips, the long ones, and I get those from Amazon. And then they come in different sizes and I've already sized my tips. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm getting as close as possible to the cuticle so that it looks more natural, more like an enhancement or something like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just um, pressing down on the nail and holding for about 10 seconds to make sure that that nail tip adheres to the tab. So I'm just starting from the cuticle and then I'm just pushing towards the free edge and then I'm going to hold it in place for 10 seconds so i'm just going to do that over and over with all the nails one thing that you want to make sure is that you size them and put them size them correctly put them really close to the cuticle and make sure you put them on straight because they are on there pretty well so um, you just want to make sure that you're careful with that so you get it right the first time if not you can rip it off it won't like rip off any of your natural nail or anything it's just an adhesive tab it's not like no glue or nothing but you know they are on there pretty tight and so you just want to be careful with that but um, I love these tips these tips are so cool even if you like they're really good for people who don't know how to shape nails and who are trying to do um press-ons but don't know how to shape nails they're not like a professional or nothing they're just everyday people these are the tips for you i love them they're so thick and they already have an apex which is like that bump in the middle of the nail for strength so it makes it look like you went to the nail salon and got your nails did so this is a really I really like these these tips so I'm just I've done applied all my um, tips to the nails and now I'm going in with D&D &D, um, white polish in the color snow white number 448 488 I think no 448 all of it will be linked down below I don't know what the numbers are but it's in the color snow white it's a really really white white and I like uh, it's one of my favorite whites it's like the only white that I use anyway besides um, the chalk white um, from D&D &D, but I like this white better and I'm just putting one coat of white on all of the nails um, so I'm just polishing polishing them as usual and I'm pretty sure you can find this online um you don't have to be a professional to buy this but you can use regular polish or any other no chip polish that you can find on online where you don't need a license to buy there's plenty of places you can find a wipe gel polish online these days but i'm just um polishing my nails with the no chip polish and it comes in like a duo of um no chip and regular and i'm using a no chip as you guys can see i'm not that good at um polishing my own nails um i'm a little sloppy when it comes to polishing period but especially for my own nails because it's just a weird angle i'm used to like looking down like painting the nails going down not like upward so i'm just doing that i will be cleaning them up with some acetone after i'm done but i am just using one coat you don't need two coats um if you are used to applying polish and can get an even coat the first time you don't need two coats but if you are not um experiencing like polishing and things like that and you see that's a little splotchy you can't add another coat so um I'm just applying that to the nails and um, yeah I'm gonna cure it in my sun UV lamp for 60 seconds um, and just let that cure before I go on to the cow print um, design that we're gonna do on these nails we're doing a cow print design as you can see by the title so I'm really excited about this I've seen it being you know floating around instagram so i'm excited um to do it and it was my first time doing it so comment below and tell me how i did i would love to hear you guys feedback on my nails um and what you guys think and what kind of videos you guys want to see and 
um just any feedback or anything like that i love to interact with people i would love to interact with you guys so don't be shy say hello even if you say hello in the comments go ahead say hello go ahead thumbs up it so i'm just taking my acetone brush and i'm just acetone in my cleanup brush and i'm cleaning up the excess off the skin before i cure it in my sun uv lamp for 60 seconds 60 seconds is what i cure my dnd polish for so now i'm just taking the other end of my cleanup brush is a dotting tool so i'm taking a black dnd polish in the color licorice um, it'll be linked down below and how i achieved this cow print design is that i um first of all if you're trying to achieve like any print or anything like that what i have found because i'm not um experience in like hand-drawn art and stuff like that is i pull up a google image and i use it as a reference so that's what i did i um pulled up a google image of just cow print i just typed in cow print it's a lot of pictures choose one and then i did like a practice nail where i just tried to imitate the the lines and the shape that was in the picture and that's how i kind of learned how to do it maybe i don't have the well i know i don't have the best cow print nails out there but it's noticeable it's noticeable that they're cow print nails in my opinion so i think that that's um my goal i think that my goal has been accomplished so what i'm doing is i'm taking my dotting tool because i feel like i have more control than like a fine liner brush but whatever your preference is it's totally fine people do it with the art brushes mostly but i'm using the dotting tool i have found that i have more control with the polish when i have my dotting tool so i'm just taking my dotting tool and i'm just making like different sizes and different shapes and like big squiggly lines and like like kind of like a funky circle shape just make sure that it comes in full circle but that I just make like big squiggly like wavy lines and I just do that in like different shapes and different sizes and things like that and so some sometimes when I'm making like the real small ones I just make like a um like a funky sloppy dot so it's there's no rhyme or reason to it just use your picture as your reference try to imitate the print as best you can make those big wavy um curves and make sure that it comes full circle so that's the best way i can explain how i did it so <laughs> um i it's hard to explain how to do these prints and stuff like that so that's just how i achieved it you can see here that i'm just coloring it in coloring it in um with the black and um you just space it out um don't make them like too too close together because cow print is not like cheetah print like it's a little bit more spaced out than cheetah print so just try and space it out as much as you can like on these nails i did like maybe three big ones and like three smaller ones so uh it, it doesn't take a lot so i'm just repeating this step over and over again so that's what i'm doing but yeah, um, these nails are great for people who just like going out to like an event or something like that. And they don't usually wear nails or their job doesn't permit them to have like um, funk nails or fancy nails. Um, and they just want something, you know, just just a little bit more extra. These are the perfect things for you because you could just pop them on, polish them, design them however you like and you can pop them off like the same night or the next day so these are good if you want a more permanent a more permanent um stay for your press-ons um i do recommend a nail glue although i don't know what because i don't wear press-ons and i don't do them on other people i don't know what 
what glue people use what what adhesive people use for a more um permanent permanent wear um but i will if i can find one i will definitely link it down below i'm gonna do a little bit of research on that and then i'll link it down below if i can find something but this is more for someone who wants to wear for like the, just the night you know who maybe got work in the morning but they got an event in the night so they just you know and want their nails done and want them to look fancy you, press-ons are so versatile you could do bling you could do just regular nude you could do just fun funky designs and it's also for people who don't want to commit to nails or commit to a certain design and just want to test out a design and see how it looks on them how they like it so these are this is perfect so i'm really getting into press-ons and i'm going to be doing more on my channel um so look out for that and i i actually want to do like a wear test with these um adhesive tabs because i never wore them out and about so maybe one night when i'm going out or one day when i'm running errands i will just test it out do a wear test and um see if they last throughout the whole day or throughout the whole night go ahead and like this video and comment down below if you would like to see a wear test of these press-ons and see how um how long they they um last because i think that'll be a very helpful and useful video um for me to do so i think that i'm gonna do a video like that so back to the nails i'm just doing the same old thing and i'm just switching up the placement of the bigger and the smaller ones on each nail so it doesn't look too uniform so i'm just continuing to doing the same thing that i've been doing for all the nails just making sure i just spread it out so that it doesn't look too uniform that it looks more sporadic so um that's what i'm doing and i'm on my last nail now and these didn't take me long to do at all this design took me like maybe 10 minutes to do um this whole set took me like maybe for one hand it took me like 25 minutes so it'll take you like um maybe under an hour to do this full set of press-ons so if you got that kind of time you know people take way longer to do their makeup and get ready for the night so i guess if you can incorporate that in your routine your going out routine or whatever you're wearing these for um whatever occasion then i would say totally go for it totally go for it um it's a nice a nice little touch so i'm just doing the swiggly lines again on the pinky finishing the design up and you see right there i just made like a funky little circle that's what i was talking about it's like just making a dot but like a really sloppy dot so if you're not good at nail art like me it will be very easy to do I think that's why it was kind of easy for me to do this design is because I don't have a steady hand and a steady hand is not required um, uh, for this design. A lead finger is definitely better. So I think that's why I liked it so much and found it easy to do is because I don't have a steady hand and line work is not my strong point. I'll be the first to admit it. So I really enjoy doing this and not having to make straight precise lines and stuff like that. That could just go a little crazy and a little wonky. I love that. I top coated them with my DD top coat and these are the finished product they look really good right they are press-ons people wouldn't even know that they are press-ons okay you'll be out here slaying for the low and you didn't even have to wait forever in a nail salon or go spend your money in a nail salon so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video bye